We're here. We finally made it. The last Carmine for the for the characters. I got one more Carmine video after. Don't worry. We're not done with Carmines yet. Um, this is the last Carmine. The a Carmine a part of the family. Um, now. I was thinking maybe I'd save Clay, because, you know, he's still alive, he's had the most screen time, we know the most about Clay, you know, but I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll do Clay right away, we'll go in the order they came out for now, and then I'll leave it up to the polls. That's what I did. Clay ended up winning a poll. I thought, Lizzie would be last. You know what, we'll do Lizzie. You know, she's the most recent Carmine introduced, not counting anything that's come out in uh, Gears Tactics yet, have not played, don't know if there's a new one, but we'll say Lizzie for now. You know, Lizzie, why not? She was freshly introduced. She has history with, with Clay. I could do Clay then, Lizzie, maybe. I decided no. Again, went with the polls. She ended up winning her poll and went on from there. We're doing Freddo. We're doing Freddo Carmine. I'll tell you this right now. And yes, if you're wondering, yeah, this is a, a stalling for time tactic. I'm very certain that's what I'm doing right now. Because again, Fredo Carmine, I could make, I could talk for two and a half minutes, I'd be done. Seriously, that's how long the video will be for Fredo Carmine. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try and make it 10 minutes. Give Fredo at least 10 minutes. The rest of his family got over 10. I'm at least gonna give the guy 10 minutes. He's got 10 minutes of my time and yours for right now, if you would so happily oblige when giving him that time. Um, let's, let's talk about Fredo, okay? Um... <laughs> Wow, I did not think Fredo would be the last one. I mean, I kind of assumed in the back of my head when I started polls he'd be the last, but I was like, I can't wait to just get that video done with and get away with just not dealing with it anymore. But um, here I am right now dealing with it. <sighs> Fredo Carmine, in case you're wondering, because here's the thing. A lot of people don't know who Fredo is. Oh, don't worry, Fredo's real. Fredo is 100% real. <sighs> he is a cousin of the main family by what we've learned so far, and don't worry, I'll bring things up on screen later on to show that I have proof of this and he's not a made up character. He sounds like a fan fiction character, but don't worry, he's real. If you're wondering, he's in this right here. Yeah, property of Damon Baird, Survivor's Log Kilo Squad, or Kilo Squad Survivor's Log, whichever way you'd like to say it. He's in this, he's not in the game. Fredo does not appear in the game. The only thing you get in the game is the Carmine Life Insurance Company and you also get that in this book. No, this is all you get from Fredo. That's it. Just an article written by him. That's roughly, I want to say four paragraphs long. That's it. It is just right here. I can open the page right now for you. Seriously, I, I had this bookmark a moment ago, but I took it out. Um, I don't really know why I did, but hey, I'm not the smartest tool in the, sh the shed at all. This, this right here, this, this is it. This is all you get. <laughs> This is all Fredo is. And it's not even too bad. It's just this. This is just a picture. That's all you get of Fredo. That's it. <laughs> That's it. In the book. And, and if you're buying your game out of a pawn shop or you're buying it from GameStop or you're buying it online that doesn't come with this, you will not know who Fredo is if you don't get this for judgment. <laughs> okay. Um, let, let's, let's continue on with whatever I can talk about involving Fredo from this point on. Now you're probably thinking to yourself right now, okay, he's in the book right there, you know, it, you know, it's just a little Easter egg thing, it's nothing big. Oh no, it, it's confirmed. I have the conversation on my phone. I'll throw it up here too. Um, it was to one of the team that worked on Judgment and they talked about, it was a question they got revolving around Fredo. Um, and I will straight up read the conversation for you right now. And I quote from the man giving the question, because I don't have a name attached to this, but I do have one quick question. Uh, one of the newspaper authors was named Fredo Carmine. Any relation to the Carmine bros? The answer. I should certainly think so. Probably a cousin. In the manuscript, I said the paper was supposed to be a Stars and Stripes-like publication. And I remember they asked me specifically what to call it, I think. But don't remember what I said. Gears and brains. And yes, I guess Fredo was a reporter there. I actually didn't come up with that name. It just must have come from the designer. So, if you're ever curious who decided to create the great Fredo Carmine, the reporter of the stars, um, it was a designer that was pretty much a part of the Gears of War Judgment team. Um, it was probably a designer that um, they probably had a good hand in designing this book itself. because It's a very scrapbook-like book. Um, 
It's very scrapbookish. It has a lot of personal writings from Baird in it. Um, it probably was just like a clipping that was placed in the book. One of the designs they chose to put in there, and it just so happened while they were creating it, they probably put Fred O. Carmine in there. Um, for the history of the name, obviously a Carmine, that's where the Carmine comes from, but as for the Fredo part, I don't think it's ever been stated if that comes from like um, a family friend of whoever designed this, or if it was the name of they just made up, or if it had a significant meaning, I don't think it was ever brought up for anything like that. As far as we know, Fredo Carmine, canonically, is a member of the Carmine family. He actually is a member. Um, so a lot of people originally, because it was years ago when I first heard about Fredo Carmine, this was like years after Judgment even, um, I saw the word Fredo here and there and I'm like, I have no clue who this is. I have no clue who Fredo is. I've never heard of this. I know all the Carmines by heart. Who's Fredo? I did some digging and it said, oh, well, he was from Judgment. Obviously, I went through and played Judgment again. No sign of Fredo. So I thought, someone's messing with me. This can't really be real. There's, there's no such thing. There can't be. Um, then I did more digging, um, and they said, oh, you know, he wrote a newspaper article, so I thought, okay, maybe there's, like, a collectible or something in the game, or a newspaper article, so nothing. Then I actually bought this book, and I understand what they meant. Um, I got this a year ago. Um, great read, by the way. Whenever I cover Kilo Squad, or I cover Baird, Cole, Loomis, even, um, even Karn, I'll make mention of this one, especially Fredo, since this, he's in this. Um, yeah, you learn a lot from this one. For instance, Fredo being a thing. Yeah. Um, as for the, the Carmine Life Insurance Company, if I had to guess, because by what the wiki is going by, and I'm going to assume it also, uh, Fredo is from Halvo Bay. That is what it's currently going with. I am going to agree with that because of the fact that if you think about it, newspapers, every single town city has their own newspaper publications. I'm going to assume that he lived there and he was a reporter for his town, just like Jacinto probably has their own paper or like, um... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of more cities in the um, uh, in the area for the the cog. Um, I'm sure there's a national paper that the cog lets out. I'm sure that well, there's one city from the paper I'm thinking of, but F U C K E D that one. But that was that was stranded populated, so they don't probably have a newspaper. But you know, a bunch of other one. Um, Lima Lima probably had their own paper. Um, but yeah, he probably lived there. The Carmine Life Insurance Company, I'm going to guess his immediate family worked there. Because, again, you have Fredo Carmine in here, and then you also have the Carmine Life Insurance Company. I'm going to assume those two families, well, it's the same family, you know? Just like he's a cousin to the main family by what's been stated, I'm going to assume the Carmine Life Insurance Company was probably his immediate family. Probably like his mother and father worked there, or his brother, or something like that. His immediate family was there. Um, we don't ever get reference of him in the story, nothing at all, uh, although you could probably guess by everything I've said so far, uh, Carmine Life Insurance, Carmines are never re referenced at all in Judgment, ever. There are no Carmines mentioned personally by anyone. You see the sign for the Carmine Life Insurance Company, and you have Fredo in this book. That's it. You don't have anything else. That's why it's kind of hard to talk about Fredo, because there's nothing um, again, he was a reporter, he was not a soldier, it was stated he was a reporter. Um, he was around during Halva, which happened, there, there's, there's numbers that fly around everywhere between six weeks to six months. I believe it was six weeks was, um, Halva Bay. I believe it was. I don't think it was six months. If I'm wrong, you'll see the yellow under me right now stating I'm wrong. But, let's see, he would have been, if you were to take Clay into account... Fredo must have been young, like 18 to 20 around that. Because, again, this was like the beginning of the war. 14 years later, Marcus was finally out of prison. So I'm going to assume he was young as a reporter. Um, God, I'm trying to think, though. Like, age-wise, I don't think he would have been older than the brother. He was definitely older, or at least the same age, as D and Clay. Because D, we've heard that he's roughly around the second oldest to oldest. Um, yeah, he must have been, he was definitely older than Ben. Ben would have only been like four-ish during the events of Halvo Bay. So if you think about it, yeah, he would have been a good 14 years to, because Clay wasn't that much older than his brothers. He wasn't that much older. Like if you count the brothers and you count Fredo into that, he might've been the oldest out of all of them. If he was an immediate cousin, again, a cousin could mean anything. You could be a really distant cousin, but by the way, they just said cousin and not like distant cousin. I'm going to assume that he's 
related to them close enough where it's just like, oh yeah, my parents are the brother or sister to your parents. I'm going to assume it's that close. I'm not going to assume he's just like, oh yeah, I'm your great, great cousin, or I'm your cousin from this, 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 twice removed this far. I don't think it's anything like that. I don't think so. Um, you also got to talk to Loomis. <laughs> if you think about that, that's a that's a big enough thing to do on your own. Loomis was always more of the, the not prim and proper, but he was more just like very, very by the book. I mean, aside from deciding to hold a trial in the middle of a war zone. We'll save that for Loomis's video on how much of a stupid idea that was. But, you know, like, he said, I could see the interview. Like, it said he was looking out on the waters of Halvo Bay, probably hands behind his back like this, chest out, just like, hmm, yes, Halvo Bay, a fine area, of course, hmm, yes, Halvo Bay. You know, I, I could see that. I could literally see Fred up sitting there with a clipboard, just like, mm-hmm, yep. And, uh, what about the, the fight that's going to be happening soon, the battle that'll be happening once you lead your regiment in? Of course, of course, of course, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, Mr. Loomis, of course, you know, or Colonel Loomis. I apologize, Colonel Loomis, my deepest apologies. You know, um, we never get any confirmation if he's alive or dead, nothing at all. I mean, I, I'm going to assume since he's a Carmine and since life insurance is in the game, you know, funny Easter egg because Carmine life insurance, I'm going to assume he's dead, especially since we've got like... I don't know. We got like 99% of the human population is dead by the end of three. Um, yeah, Fredo's probably dead. I mean, if Loomis was going to get killed off screen, I'm very certain Fredo's dead. Um, and that's just my assumption. Nothing's confirmed, so I can't say he's dead or not. But I'm assuming he's dead. So um, th that's going to do it on Fredo. Again, there's not much like trivia or fancy things to talk about for him either. He didn't wear a helmet. We never saw his face. We never saw what he looked like at all. Um, I'm going to just assume for my own headcanon he had the little news reporter hat on i'm just going to assume that because it makes me feel happy um so that'll do it for freddo i gave him the time he needed i gave him everything i promised the rest of his family <sighs> thank you guys for sticking through this one this was a this was a video all right <laughs> so even lily's getting tired of all of it right now uh thank you guys so much for watching like comment subscribe do all that we're on twitter we've got a patreon we have a store we have all that good stuff Feel free to stop by and look at any of that. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys would like to throw a dollar in the head of the Patreon, buy a shirt, just follow on Twitter. See you too, Lily. Um, anything like that, really. You guys have a great one. Thank you so much. Have a good one.